Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Under Rail. In the last episode, we finished exploring the Ark Power Station and managed to reroute. Well, that's not. No, sorry, that is not true. We explored the majority of the Ark Power Station and were able to access the actual power control si uh, console and we rerouted power from the ARC power station to a few different areas, turning off the security, the cameras, and the manufacturing facilities of that power station. We've left the Iris Core to explore, and when we have to go back there to reroute power some more, or again, to different areas, we will then explore Iris and see what could be contained within it that it we were unable to access it, despite the fact we were at the master control terminal. In any case, we're now back here where we had stored some of our loot, and it's time to actually loot what's in the warehouse block. We probably shouldn't do this because, well, most of it's not going to be useful to us, but I would like to know how many repair kits and so on are still staggered around down here, and it gives me a chance to see if we got lucky enough to find a decent quality electric discharger. So we're going to go ahead and take our rewards, as it were, right now. As you can see as well, I've left about half our batteries inside this locker. We shouldn't need to carry around a hundred different batteries with us. <laughs> we should be okay. And there also shouldn't be too many enemies within the warehouse, if there is indeed any at all there. So let's go ahead and do some exploring. Any high quality electronics or Oh, can we pick your pocket, by the way, Mr. Gaunt? I've never picked a Gaunt's pocket before. And we're not going to be able to do it today. I like, the, I like the image of him. That's an interesting face mask he's wearing. No, okay. We're not going to be able to, to pick his pocket. Well, this is one of the few times, viewer, we won't be eating any food, either. I don't recall there being any hostiles here. Okay. Well, let's get to searching. What have we got? A syringe, an advanced mechanical repair kit. HS90 hydraulic pump drive shaft. This does not look like the one we currently have so that one can stay now uh, yes viewer i know where the drive shaft is that we need we'll just i'll just say it we have to go through the this worm infested series of caverns which is to the s west and south southwest then of where we currently are machete handle some type of spikes we don't care about the spikes probably nothing worthwhile in the barrels oh super string We'll take that and a forward grip. That's actually worth bringing back with us. Oh, there's gaunts walking around here too, huh? I didn't think we'd find anything in the barrels that would be worth it. 128 laser emitter. Uh, we'll take that, although it's not super high quality. We can make a better laser. We can make a laser pistol to sell out of that. 111 energy converter. And a 127 secret lens. So not the best. Not the best stuff. Good but not the best. Another toolkit, we already have one. We don't need that one. And the rest of this is just junk. The box here, I think requires hacking to open. I think 140. 130. Okay, you were close, Tim, but that's not perfect. All right, that's one warehouse checked. There were surprisingly few items in it. <laughs> I seem to remember the warehouse is being packed full of goodies, but maybe my memory is incorrect or hard mode changed what we can find in it in these. Beer bottles, we don't care about beer bottles. 130 again. And it doesn't really matter, I suppose, right? We don't even have 50 hacking, nor do I intend to take it, so. Oh, this is more like it. All right, what do we have? 74 laser emitter, 95 shield modulator, 142 low frequency shield modulator, that one we'll take, 103 kinetic orb, 
39 sonic mufflers, a shield emitter base, we'll take that. 106 plasma discharger and an electronic repair kit. So not much in that one. That was worth it. This will finish repairing our headband. We are looking for cloth items, by the way, Tim, because you need to repair your armor. 116 field stabilizer, another shield emitter base. We'll take the micro dischargers. Oh my goodness, look at all the electronics here. Two advanced repair kits. I don't care about optical fiber. 43 energy converter, three high resolution digital scopes, and a sonic headband frame. Oh my goodness, please be something high quality here for a, that. A, we see a single electric discharger. God, I hope it's high quality. We'll find out soon if how. Uh, how lucky we are. Probably not very lucky, though, based on how the quality of everything else in here. Uh, only 40! That's awful! <laughs> one one plasma core. All plasma cores are coming back with us. Hmm. Not at all. So nothing really too worth... I mean, this stuff's all we're taking, but I don't need to move it to some special spot to point out that this is exceptionally high... Uh, High quality stuff. Like this galvanic vest. 131, that comes with us. 128 shield capacitor, 119 sonic mufflers, two energy pistol frames. Lots of pistol frames. We're taking those because they're expensive to purchase. 169 power cell. So that, that is phenomenal. That will definitely power our 177 super, shock super, Steel spear if we can get like to find a, a discharger that's high enough quality for it. I think the 107, whatever that is. Another plush tentacle, we don't need it, but we might as well take it. Psionic bits, we don't really need any quality. If it's less than 100, I'm not interested in taking it. We were, we're running out of shelves to search in here. This is the electronics warehouse also, so we're not going to find, I think, too many electronics in other places. So we're, we're, we're now going to begin praying we find an electronic discharger that's high quality. All plasma cores come with me. Okay, it's not looking good, viewer. It's looking like we're not going to find one. 150 low frequency shield modulator. It's not so bad. A few more advanced electric repair kits. 104 polarizer. And there's another one here. 171 metathermic modulator. If we want to go all in on metathermics and make a new sonic headband, we can do it down here. <laughs> we may do that actually. We don't really. Well, yeah, we might we might do that, and uh, 104 only for the shock. That's not very good. There's no re-rolling this, by the way. If I was to reload the game and walk over here, it doesn't matter. The stuff would be the same, if I recall correctly. With how the game generates loot, it's per save file on generation, I believe, as opposed to you walking into a place and searching it. I think. Oh, one more shelf. 133 electroshock generator. Not... Not the best. And that's all that's in this warehouse. We don't have hacking, so we're not getting into that. Oh, we can, sorry. There's a breakable wall. Uh, I did not bring any dynamite with me, did I? I don't have any dynamite on me. We have a jackhammer, though. But, uh, did I bring it with me? I did not. Okay. Let's move all this stuff back with us, and we'll break down that wall and search it. So we got one half of what I want for our spear. A almost 170 quality plasma cell. You know, it occurs to me that after I beat Deep Caverns, I don't really do anything else in the game except finish it. 
So maybe the merchants will sell even higher quality components? They're probably not going to though, are they? Okay. That's all, that's most of the loot we just picked up. We picked up all these repair kits and we don't need so many of them. We can leave these five behind at the moment and take the jackhammer with us. All right, let's head back over there. Break that wall down and search some more. Oh, you know what? We can break these rocks down too. Let's do that. Oh, and we definitely want an oozing shroom. Mm -mm. And we'll break down the other... No, nah, we shouldn't need to do that. More of that crazy-looking fungus. The fire has burnt out in the fireplace. Did I bring coal with me? I don't think I did. I did not. There's a corpse we can't search. And we can't search the box either. If there's secrets down here, we don't have the perception to find them. Even I think if we were able to get ourselves a 10 perception, I still don't think we find any secrets down in Deep Caverns, given it's how late game this area is. Oh, can we enter this room? I don't think we can, can we? We can't. And there's no agility to get us up over the wall there. Okay, so let's break down this wall. Might make enough noise that it draws the faceless here. Us doing that. Yep. <laughs> Using a jackhammer makes noise, so everyone wants to investigate. I don't want them blocking me from leaving this area, so I'm going to stay here. Hello. Go on. You want to... Oh, you know what we can do? We're just going to stand here and stare at the wall we just broke in wonderment. We'll pick your pocket. And take some burr poison. Heck, we even apply it to our normal trichrome spear. Don't need a charger. 148 black cloth. That's good. We would want three pieces of that to recre recreate the stealth gear that we were using earlier in case we do need to stealth in order to beat short. Though I'm hoping we don't. that doesn't come down to that. And no other components. There is at least one other area here that will have high high quality co uh, electronics components, and that's in the area we just powered. One of these might have it, so we can search that. We'll obviously search those two. I won't say no. To a normal cloth repair kit, we actually want some armor to break down or advanced repair kits. Oh, we have the lock picking for this. What's in the first aid? A bandage and an advanced health hypo. Hey, an advanced patching kit. Okay, let's use that. Our armor, as you can see, is heavily damaged thanks for running through all that fire. But the fire we ourselves set. Level 24 aluminized balaclavas. Can I break these down? I think I can. What do we get for these? Oh, not much in the way of fabric scraps. 17 for these. That's still worth it. We're desperate for more repair kits.
And I don't remember there being anything worthwhile in the barrel and box over here. But it has been years since I've been here. I'm breaking all the rocks this way the gaunts won't trap us in here. We'll have some maneuvering room to get around them. Hacking 110. Nothing worth taking in the barrel. If there's anything worth taking in the weapons locker in regards of weapons or generally armor, I'm just going to be leaving them there. Oh my goodness, auto cannons! Look at how many of the mini guns and light machine guns there are here. It doesn't matter what they are, though. I'm not going to lug them back to... Oh, the game... Okay, no, the game's fine. Melee weapons. If we need advanced repair kits, we can take some of these and break them down. All those sledgehammers. Leather armor. All right, so we want one of these to break it down to bits. And that should give me good what I need for another advanced repair kit. And with that, we can repair our armor again. Riot gear. Leather armors. Uh, you know, we could break down one of these rat hound ones really quick. <laughs> that will give us enough fabric scraps to make a, <coughs> a life repair kit. We can then use it on our boots. Plate armor and a blast suit. Assault rifles. Energy weapons. Sniper rifle uh, and grenade launchers. Wow. This in particular is a very lucrative weapons locker. We're going to leave the laser weapons we just picked up in here too. Yeah, these things are worth a great amount of money. And they're damaged too. We have to come back here and we full repair them all. Thankfully, there's enough stuff in all this. We can break down all the other equipment to fully repair most of those uh, grenade launchers. Crossbows. Sniper rifles. Pistols and shotguns. Machine guns. Energy shields and some batteries. Crossbow bolts. Some ammo, shotgun ammo, magnum ammo. Some grenades, dynamite. Important to know this is here. If we want if we want to do stealthing for short, we may want to take TNT charges with us in order to immediate uh, because when they detonate, you can destroy their regenerative uh, sorry torch regenerative tanks. Hopefully we won't need to do that because that's gonna be super annoying to me. There's also a ton of high explosive, uh, well not a ton, actually there might be a ton, uh, uh, weight wise, of uh, grenade launcher ammo here. Some drugs which will take a psionic amplifier for parkinesis which can stay. Ooh, I want that oozing shroom. Let's search those shelves. I'm expecting mechanical components in here, or chemical components. 130 locker. And if it wasn't for our Hux key, we would have to eat a Dex, uh, some Dex food to open this up. Two sunk inhalants. Pyrokinetic Stream Trainer. 
metal spikes. We don't care about what's in those. Empty locker. 147 Kelber cloth. That's it. Nothing else worth taking there. Some ampules, some caps, some syringes. More ampules. 48. Mm. We'll take the 96 Kelver cloth. But we'll hope to find better. Not a bunch of chem uh, chemicals. Nothing we're interested in there. Some beakers. Nothing else. Is that burr poison? That's acid. What is this? Bonding agents. I guess we'll take the bonding agents just in case. A little bit of this and that. A single Cheron will take. We'll take the patching kit. But that's, I think, all I'm interested in there. More uh, this and that. I guess we'll take the energy. All right, viewer, that's it for the warehouse district with the exception now of these two chambers one of which i think has quite a few more shelves in it the other one will have toxic chemicals in it if i recall correctly so let's go with the let's try the locked one first i also think we probably want our electric spear equipped I remember there being some hostiles in one of these, if not both of these chambers. We are not overburdened. Industrial bot, you saw me. I'm not gonna run up there in case there's another one of you. Let's let you come to us. Good critical hit there, Tim. Oh, crap! The other one decides, decides to show up too, huh? We can plasma beam it. Whoa! Nice! For science, we're going to recursion it now. I think this will repeat the damage done by both energy and flame on this creature. I believe they're applied at the same time. You might remember that I believe in the last episode, when we recursioned a hit with our spear, our electric spear, only the electric part was applied through re uh, recurrence. This is because it's applied after the stab with the spear. I don't know if, if it was supposed to work that way, but that's the way it works. Let's see. Yes! Both the energy and the heat damage is applied to this creature each and every turn through recurrence. And we can probably just ignore it. Because the, that we're, it's, we're doing about 200 damage worth of energy and fire and flame to it. Very good. I think, even in normal mode, this place had two of those bots, so nothing really new here. Let's charge our spear. Take all the bits. Okay, viewer, we got more shelves to search. What else is over here? More shelves. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. 
Anything over here? Not that we can see. What have we got? Hmm. Nothing special in the first locker. Oh, our jackhammer is completely out of juice. So we're, we are going to be using it again, so we might as well charge it. Forty-one black cloth. That's not worth taking. Hydro pneumatic accumulator. This is a Hippod Seven Three Thousand bladder type hydro pneumatic accumulator, rated at three thousand psi. It was manufactured by Belcorp Hydraulics North and seems to be in a surprisingly good condition. Twenty pounds, but we can take it at the moment. How many of them do we need? One hydrogenic accumulator. That's it. That's what we need. I mean, we need a lot more than that, but that's one of the things we need at least taken. Quality 80 black cloth. God, I hope we can find better than that, but we're taking it at the moment. 171 plasma core sitting here. Even slightly better than the 169 one. Means we can maybe make ourselves even a better taser or a better shield than what we're currently using. 122 two black cloth. Okay, good. So we have 148, 122. Two. The 80 can stay here then. Two hydraulic fu fluid canisters. These are five liter hydraulic fluid canisters. They are filled with bi. Mo G60 mineral oil based hydraulic fluid produced by Biocorp Hydraulics North. Ten more pounds taken with us, though. It shouldn't matter. We're not. We're probably not taking a whole lot from these shelves unless we find some electronics. It looks like there's no gun parts here. I thought there was. I thought there were gun parts around here too. Looks like it's. That's not the case though. Lots of black cloth in here. Not of good quality. Everything in this shelf is of low quality, in fact. We will always take super string. 106 blast cloth. Oh, there are frames. 164 steel cat. We'll take that. 134 reaper. Shotgun barrel. 176 light machine gun frame for a grudge. Wow. My goodness. A Tornado 177, a Ratchet 169, some amazing quality there. Of course, the things I'm interested in would have been the Ballistics panel, and of course, that's quality 62. So, things we don't particularly need on Galvin, but we can make some exceptional weaponry out of it and sell it. Not that we need the Charons for anything at this point in the game. We're dangerous. We're very close to being overburdened, so we're just gonna bring this stuff back and leave it in our storage slash stash. When we get elo elo echoing soliloquy, we will. Oh, maybe we don't need to do it. I was thinking we'll, we'll bring some of the stuff we've found to the gate. And with Echoing Siloquy, we won't have to worry... We will still have to worry about the Chortlings, but not quite as much. But I think instead, Tim, you should bring everything once you have everything you, you need there instead. I, that didn't make a whole lot of sense what I just said. Let's just leave all this stuff here. Actually, accept the medical supplies. And that stays with me too. We'll hold on to the mushrooms. Okay, where is where are my quest items? They're here. Okay, so let's leave those behind at the moment. The jackhammer is what's weighing you down, Tim. I'm just curious if I can light the fireplace. I mean, it won't do anything for us, as it were. But can we fuel it? We can. Can we? did I bring a lighter with me? Yes, we did. 
Ah, warmed up. All right, let's get back out. Gonna want to finish searching those two rooms. Then a break, so I can see how long we've been recording for. Probably, probably be done about around 37 minutes or so, and then we can do a little more exploring of the areas we've turned the power back on to. Yeah, some good weapon frames. A shame that we found another great power cell, but not an electric discharger. Once again, it's it's not going to matter too much because we're not going to have the electronics to... Uh, oh, I went into the wrong room. Okay, let's, let's go back into the other one. We don't have the electronics to actually... And I don't have the super seal with me, so uh, those two things will stop us from creating a the most amazingly end game weapon uh, for spears. If it's, if you like electrical, possible. We're not. We won't do it down in deep caverns. I have to get back to our home. Shotgun barrel, one forty three guardian frame. Did we finish searching? We finished searching those shelves. Past the gate. Silencer. Grenade launcher barrel. Box magazine. Other firearm parts. Nothing else worth taking there. Or at least nothing else I'm interested in. I don't care about any of that. Actually, we might care about the souls, so we'll take one of those. Oh, viewer, I have to use the bathroom again. And by again, I mean I'm remembering that I have to take immediate cuts to use the restroom. Let's see. Let's see if we can search these, search these shelves really quick. 146 little nice cloth. 141 foam padding. Some good cloth in this one. Wow! <laughs> we can't even use this black cloth down here. We do not have what's. We do not have the tailoring. We won't until we get back home. One eighty nine. I didn't think the quality went up that high for items that weren't like spikes. And I have to use a restroom viewer. All right, so I'll let the music play this time for you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Let's see. We're still searching shelves. Look at all the shelves we still have left. There's, there's that chance, viewer. There's that chance we might find a quality 170-ish electro discharger still. But we're, we're also hoping we don't find a 189 electric discharger because I don't think we'll have the electronics even with our workbench food and hypercerebics to create what it's going to require our electronics to be at there we might have to hold on to our level 30 level to take or I might have to just dump more points on electronics guessing what we, we would need uh, at max there if 
It's over 100 I'm taking it. With some exceptions. Holy cloth! <laughs> okay, I think uh, maybe we start leaving cloth behind. Alright, this is more low quality. That's a low quality uh, shelf. For noob tailors. Nothing there I'm interested in. Two that can stay there. Okay, that's it for that. I got so used to finding super high quality stuff, and now we're finding a low stuff. I feel, well, I don't know. It, it's like the scratch. It's like these scratch off lottery games where you think you're going to win, and then suddenly you don't, or that suddenly you don't. But you, there was never a chance for you to win anything off that card. One eight nine black cloth. My goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna pass on looking at cloth items now. One six six boot spring. Cyclone muzzle brake. Oh, okay. That's not. That's nice to see. A one four seven laminated fabric ballistics panel. 157 machine gun, Marauder, a decent frame, Guardian. How's our weight capacity? We're gonna have to double back again soon. 131 Falchion. I think we I still need to bring something like that into the gentleman at Rails Crossing. One thirty tango. How's our capacity? 150. Bunch of grenade cases. Take the scope. Take the pneumatic reloader. I'll take those energy cells. And let's, once again, use some stuff back in our storage slash stash. Not a whole lot of gun barrels down here, now that I think about it. Lots of parts for it for the weapons but I don't think we found a single 44 or even a 5 millimeter barrel for pistols or assault rifles or what have you I'm trying to think of where else we'd find such high quality components the Black Sea DLC for the game doesn't have such high quality in it. It's got good quality in the very final areas of the game of that uh, of that content, but not above I'd say 150 if I remember correctly. Right, we'll just keep putting everything in here at the moment. I can sort it all off screen. Okay, I don't need an on the tool. Why is that even with me? Oh, did the fireplace run out of fire? It did, didn't it? It did. Okay. We'd have to re uh, fuel it. Meh. The only thing there I can think of that we would want is warmed up buff. And that wouldn't last long enough for us to, the, to utilize it in the area to the west and south? Which will be Psy Beetles. Oh, I wonder how many there will be in hard mode in that area. Oh, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. No, go on. No, this is our stuff. <laughs> we fought long and hard to access this area. You better believe we're gonna search all the all the shells, which we're almost done doing. We have, the, we have this single row back here to search. All right, let's see. Any other 161 Impala? Taking on that shelf in the end. 
Oh, all right, so we can see for sure that we're not finding any more electronics. So we did not get lucky with the discharger. That's such a shame. 133, we can find better on the merchants. A 182 grudge light machine gun frame. There's no ammo belts down here either. So you're gonna have to, ooh, 160 fabric uh, ballistic panel. You have to kind of get lucky, to, I guess, to find one. Which means you can't create, what does it, like, you can't create certain uh, machine guns based on what you find down here. That's a shame. Have to walk down here with it already. All right, that's all of this room. Uh, highest quality stuff. Let's search the other room now. I don't remember there being anything fantastic in here. Let's see how wrong I am. Uh, bullets. Bullets can stay. Could probably want the antidote. I don't care about those bolts. What do we have in here? A desk. Single blueprint chemical bolt. We don't care. We already know it. Another lock locker. 110. We can get through 133. Plus one perception goggles. It's not very useful to us. Hello. Toxic storage key card. And a toxic... Uh, a biotechnician's suit. Which will make us immune to toxins. Or resistant, sorry. Resistant to them. Which means that we're probably looking at toxins on the other side of this door. So why don't we... Prep for it. And cuddle snails as well. There's at least two of them there. How resistant are you to a plasma beam cuddle snail? Let's find out. But to note, they do not like plasma. We got four cuddle snails in there. We got. F oh, I said four. I meant three, but yes. Uh. There are indeed four. You know, I never noticed their little heads up here on the portrait. Makes them look like ant ears to me. All right, these two, can we set them on fire? Can set free on fire, maybe. I want to plasma beam this one. All right, what do you guys drop? Insectoid gland. We'll take it. Thing in a jar. Some things are best left unexplained. Six oddity points for searching that. Wow! 300 experience points, which is not very much. But the oddity points, my goodness, that's worth taking. I guess since we're wearing our this outfit, we might as well search all the toxic barrels for anything else of interest. We'll do it haphazardly as well, apparently. Oh, we have another cuddle still since uh, corpse. We're gonna want to search that. A backpack and a box. 
Backpack has nothing useful in it. Box of is hacking, and we don't have hacking. Okay. We are done with this room now. Let's go back to our storage slash stuff. I'll take a look how long we've been playing. And then we'll, uh, if we've been playing for less than 40 minutes, we'll come back and keep playing for another 20. But otherwise, we'll call it a early session with us having now looted the warehouse. Disappointing in the end that we didn't get lucky enough with electric discharger. Or, you know, there was absolutely no energy emitters uh, there, or energy edges, whatever they're called, for to, if you want to make an energy weapon either. None. Not a single one. Very, very few shield upgrades as well. Nothing fantastic in regards to uh, the, like, efficiency option for shields. Or the like. All right, we did not find anything really of that. We found one high efficiency energy converter, and it wasn't very good. Yeah, we have better we have better shield capacitors. Okay, so a bit stingy, electronics wise. Today, a a good, very good low frequency shield modulator, but no good high one. All right, viewer, I shall be right back. Give me a few seconds. All right, viewer, we've been playing for uh, 47 minutes, so I think we are going to stop here. Uh, before, though, I do quit, let's do one last thing and put this back on. Oh, also, I don't need those goggles. I'll leave them in this uh, locker. Okay, so... Let's, once again, we'll stop here. Thank you all for watching. We've looted the warehouse district, and we found two... We found two fluid canisters. We need a third. And we found the accumulator, which is one of the other things we need. We still need to find a pump replacement, and we need to find... There's one more thing we need to find. Besides the tools. I can't remember what it is, but I'm sure we'll find it somewhere. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone.